Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to upgrade vCenter server from 6.5 to vCenter 6.7 so it's going to be a on Windows server uh, uh, vCenter, Windows server based vCenter, it's not an appliance so in last video I have uh, I have created on uh, migration from 6.0 to 6.5 and in this video we are going to proceed the same way to upgrade the our 6. Um, 6.5 vCenter to 6.7 so let's get started so before we uh, we jump into uh, upgrade we need to make sure the uh, the path which we have decided to upgrade our vCenter infrastructure it's supported by uh, VMware so in this video you can uh, see um, we are going to upgrade from 6.5 to 6.7 so there was two basically two different method or you can say you may have uh, your vCenter vSphere infrastructure so it may be uh, embedded uh, with vCenter server 6.5 with the embedded platform service control on Windows itself so this is going to be a one machine either you will have uh, uh, your platform service control on a one uh, machine and the second machine is going to run a Windows server uh, a vCenter based uh, Windows server so uh, you can see here from if you have a uh, vCenter server and platform control both in running on one machine you are going to have a s similar machine so uh, if you have a vCenter server uh, 6.5 with the embedded platform service control on Windows you are going to upgrade it to 6.5 with the same edition and if you have a, a different machine for the both uh, platform control and Windows server uh, based vCenter so, so you will get the same here so t if you have one machine it's going to be in place upgrade for one machine if you having two machine the upgrade is automatically going to detect uh, that you have a vCenter server only or v you have a platform control so you can uh, choose the both option to upgrade so uh, you need to make sure uh, before you proceed you need to make sure you, uh, to check your infrastructure existing infrastructure so pre-request before we start uh, in place upgrade so this is always recommended uh, you must have your uh, latest backup of vCenter server before you start upgrade like like uh, we did in last video so make sure you have a recent just recent backup before you uh, begin the installation or upgrade so uh, keep that backup with you in, in case you need to roll back or uh, you can roll back quickly um, as much as possible uh, um, so it's required to have a latest backup and the second thing you must require a, a, a local administrator group membership in the on the vCenter server itself and you will need vCenter single sign-on credential to run the upgrade and then you need uh, verify the connections with vCenter server and domain control is working fine so you need to make sure your domain controller and vCenter server both can communicate each other and the final thing you need to download the vCenter server installation uh, ISO file from VMware website so once you have these uh, pre-requests in place then you can run into in-place upgrade so start the in-place upgrade so uh, uh, so I'm going to show you my infrastructure and then we are going to start the in-place upgrade so for that um, I have my domain controller here you can see we have five machine total so this is my domain controller and DNS server which is win 2 k 12 dc01 so this is my domain controller basically and the second one is my iSCSI server you can see win 2 k 12 iSCSI so this is a type of SAN which is uh, providing a storage to uh, LUNs to my ESXi host infrastructure and this is my vCenter server you can see here I have logged in on my vCenter server web client and if I go here uh, you can see my version is 6.5 you can see and if I want to show from here also you can see about VMware vSphere so you can see the build version what we have and uh, this thing you can see from here and the simplest way to check if it's embedded uh, with the embedded platform control you can go to add or mute program and you can see here vCenter server with embedded platform service control so it's with embedded and you can see it's uh, giving you the version and build number also so we are good with this so this is our mm, infrastructure and I have two ESXi in, in one cluster 
and both virtual uh, both ESXi having uh, one virtual machines running which with the domain connectivity and all so let's get started so I have already mounted vSphere uh, VMware uh, vCenter server installation media so I'm going to mount here so here if I go oh, I have 6.7 I'm going to mount this media ISO file so you can see VIM VMware VMIM is mapped and now I'm going to open it and you I'm just going to double click on auto run file so it's going to run the installation so <coughs> uh, in last video we have upgraded this infrastructure from 6.0 to 6.5 so same infrastructure I'm going to use so might be I will face some issue I'm not sure sometime it can give you the um, errors or uh, uh, issues with the some uh, some dependent applications or something so you can see this is going to a vCenter server uh, 6.5 uh, 6 with embedded as service control is detected on this machine it will be upgrade to 6.7 and this is the build demo so we are good with this so click next I'm going to I accept that license terms click next and I'm going to put my SOS password single sign on password here and click next and now it's running the pre uh, pre upgrade checks it's going to take few few seconds I guess and it's going to give you results if all okay we can proceed with the upgrade or we might have some issues so it's going to give you uh, all the all the feedback if everything goes well then you, you are good to proceed with the upgrade so now it's going to give you the uh, configure port option you definitely cannot uh, edit these po the po uh, these predefined ports because it's uh, it's not uh, provided by uh, VMware to uh, change the port so we are good with this so click next and this is going to give you upgrade options so what you want to uh, migrate migrate with this so uh, configuration event task and performance metrics everything I'm going to migrate and else you can choose as per your recommend uh, requirement and recommendation from your company your organization so I'm going to migrate everything so since uh, this is a demo environment my database is very my, my whole data is very very uh, thin like it, uh, it's around two 200 MB only I'm good with this click next and now I'm going to get this option for the uh, where the dire uh, directory is going to be stored so I guess this directory is already having some data since I migrated it uh, from there so I need to uh, clean that folder so let's go there I need to go to um, C and program data and then I need to go to VMware and then I have vCenter server and there we have one export folder so I'm going to rename it to export.old so you can see I have export folder and it's, it's already contained some data which we have migrated so I'm just going to make it dot old and we are good with this so we have all the required path and space we have enough space in our C drive so we are good so I'm going to click next I don't want to join VMware this is demo so click next and this is going to ask you like you have um, um, a, a latest backup so I verify that I have a backup for recent server so now go ahead and click on upgrade and now you can see it's going to run the upgrade with wizard and this whole upgrade is going to take around 15 minutes in my environment uh, since this environment is pretty new and I have only few things here so now we got this error regarding installing uh, Microsoft Visual C++ 
so I'm going to click OK so what Microsoft uh, VMware is going to uh, give you it's going to zip everything all the all the installation log and everything so you can troubleshoot if, if in case you run into issue where you are not be able to upgrade your system then you should go and browse this folder you can see it's saved in my desktop so I'm going to open this folder and verify what is the issue with my infrastructure so if I go here uh, VC install you can see it's going to say you failed status is going to give you failed and also that's fine I'm going to see which um, file is going to have the installation logs so if I go down you can see here it's going to this is saying the the file is copied here and logs is high here so this is good and the main file which I'm looking for is this file I guess this is going to show you what 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 is the issue with installation so I'm going to scroll down to bottom and now you can see here what is the action fail so you can see uh, the command is going to run this option it's going to install VC 140 and it's it's got the error so you can see a program was reported setup is not finished so okay that's fine so I know this is uh, this VC um, 2015 so I'm going to uninstall that manually and I'm going to install from the vCenter setup itself might be it's due to uh, version which I have installed it's not matching with the VCSA uh, vCenter 6 uh, 6.7 setup so I have uninstalled it and now I'm going to run this uh, VC setup manual so going to open it and then we have setup you can see under the vCenter we have package folder and under the package we have this file which was got failed so I'm going to run this and you can see this is uh, C++ 2015 so I'm going to install this manually and once the installation is done I'm good so I recommend to go ahead and restart your server once you uh, install or uninstall anything on a vCenter server but still I can go ahead and try if this work you can see a rec uh, restart from previous up installation is pending so I'm good with this since I know uh, the vCenter installation was got failed so uh, I'm going to try one more time so this is the same window 6.5 detected and this is going to be upgraded so click next accept the license terms click next and then I'm going to put my s single sign on password click next so this is going to take few minutes so I'm going to pause recording here now this is passed we got the configure port option I'm going to click next here and then all the data is going to show here so I'm going to migrate everything the folder directories are going to show you so click next uh, I'm going to join click next and I verify I have a backup and click on upgrade so this time uh, this upgrade is going to be fine I guess without any issue we are we will be able to complete this so now you can see the actual migration uh, upgrade is started so this is on stage one exporting data from existing vCenter server so you can see the data export has been started and if I go there in my C drive and program file uh, program data under the VMware and vCenter and export so you can see now data is being copied here so it's the data export has been started so this is good so now the upgrade is going to take 15 minutes so I'm going to pause the recording here and once the upgrade is finished I'm going to resume from there and we will do some post my uh, post upgrade task uh, with this so uh, once the 
in, in place upgrade is completed I will go ahead and review the post upgrade verify everything is working fine without an issue so and uh, we will going to review our uh, 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 like history performance data and chart other things so I'm going to pause recording for now so now we got um, uh, around its uh, upgrade is completed so it's saying TSL 0 uh, 1.0 and has been disabled and TSL 1.101 uh, 1.1 uh, protocol has been improved for security reasons so this is uh, this is done in um, our VCS 6.5 also so this is good so click OK and this is going to say you some FTP related DSCP related um, information so that's okay just click on OK button so now you can see the setup completed your vCenter server 6.5 has is upgraded to 6.7.0 so this is good now I can go ahead and delete this old web client and I can click on finish this button I can click on exit here and now I can go ahead and send the uh, vSphere web client shortcut to my desktop and then I can go ahead and launch it and with the 6.7 uh, you also got the uh, HTML5 based uh, client so I will show you that also so I'm going to log in vCenter admin return info soul dot lan and my password for this account uh, this is going to be a same and if I go ahead and just put okay so vCenter admin info soul dot lan so the domain name was wrong basically so you can see it's loading now and if I go ahead and put here UI you can see this is going to be launch also which is a HTML5 based client this is pretty fast and pretty it easy you can say to handle and work with so this is the legacy one which we use long time so we have two option now and eventually VMware is going to be discontinue this um, legacy one and everything is going to be uh, used for HTML5 based client so this is good and if I now go to vCenter server you can see it's got updated just go ahead and close the getting start button so now you can see this got 6.7 so this is good and this is our UI based infrastructure so so this is all uh, and this migration uh, basically you can say in place upgrade so also you can go ahead and review your uh, uh, data like you can see the invent and task which was created previously so you can see I can get all the data my uh, my data which previously available in vCenter server so this is good so we have we have successfully upgraded uh, vCenter server from 6.5 to 6.7 and this is the final we can go ahead uh, go live or roll back so this is all about uh, upgrading um, the vCenter server from 6.5 to 6.7 on a Windows server so thank you very much and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye